Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the Spigot series. This time I'm going to show you how to upload your plugin to the Spigot website so other people can download your plugin, okay? So first we want to go to spigotmc.org because that's the Spigot website of course. And then go to resources and this is where you can find all of the Spigot plugins in case, you're, in case you didn't know. I'm, ass I'm assuming you know that but yeah. This is where you find any plugin pretty much nowadays. And uh, yeah, so there's different you know categories but the main category is bucket like 34,000 plugins and then you have subcategories and stuff like that but yeah so yeah if you want to add your own resource you need to have your own account and log in okay so make sure you log in and then if you're logged in you'll be able to see this button right here it says add resource so if you click this now we can add a resource and a resource is just a plugin and so you can title your resource whatever you want to call it um, you can call it booty if you want to um, anything you want to so I'm gonna call mine armor stand GUI, okay, because that's what I named it, my plugin, right? And so you can give a version if you want to. So I'm gonna say 1.0, and then you can give it um, so some description here if you want to, okay? So the next thing you want to do is actually upload the plugin, of course, because you need to give them the file. So whenever um, other people want to download the plugin, the Spigot website has your file, so they can download it, okay? So anyway, what you can do here is find the file in whatever, or whatever it is, and then just drag and drop it onto this button here. And so now it should upload it. Oh, maybe not. Uh, that's fine. But anyway, just click this. And then now you should be able to find it. So let's go ahead and find it. So we'll go to... Not here. That's my desktop. Here we go. And then we'll go to development. Java. Spigot development. Um, Armor Sand UI. Target. And then I can find the plugin right there. And then I double click that. And now it's uploading it to the website. So for the native Minecraft version, that is just the version that the Minecraft plugin was made on. So select, you know, the latest one, assuming you use 1.13. If not, you can select this one, which means less than 1.13, meaning you didn't do 1.13. But anyway, so I selected 1.13 because I made my plugin using this big 1.13 API, right? And so now you can select any of these, basically. Um, so basically, if you didn't test the plugin on any of the other Minecraft versions, um, you just want to select the latest one that your plugin was made on, assuming you tested it on 1.13. So yeah, so if I go ahead and you know test the plugin on my other servers, assuming they have other versions, um, I can test and see if the plugin works on those other server versions, okay? But yeah, anyway, so now you have the source code in case you want to link a GitHub repository or something like that, so the so the person who's downloading it could also see where or what the code is. Sometimes you want to pro provide the code for the user, and then also you have contributors in case some other people contributed just besides yourself. Then you have the languages other than English, but I mine is English obviously. And then also you have a donation link in case you have like a Patreon or something like that where people can donate donate money to you and stuff like that, okay? So for description, I can leave a description of my plugin. Usually you want to do that. So if we go ahead and duplicate this, let's go back to um, the resources here. We can see that uh, we have a bunch of plugins here, right? So if I click on one, like the Battle Pass plugin here, we can see that the plugin has a description, right? We have all this information here. These are pictures, so they uploaded pictures. But if I want to add an image, uh, I could just click this and then provide the image URL. That's pretty simple. That's pretty simple. And then also I can give it some, t you know, text and stuff like that. Give it some, you know, effects like underline, italicize, or bold. You can even choose the color. You can pretty much do everything. It's a, it's a what you see, what you get type of editor. So, yeah. I think also you can provide uh, HTML code. So H1 uh, test. You might be able to provide HTML code if you know HTML. Um, so that might work. Um, Hopefully, uh, we can actually prove we can preview it if we want to, so we can see. Oh no, it does not work. I guess so. You cannot use HTML probably, so that's fine. But yeah, let's just go ahead and set up our description here. So we'll just give it a title here. We'll call it um, Armor Stand GUI, and we'll make it bold. And let's try increasing the size. Can we do that? Uh, maybe not. That's a rich text editor. Oh no, the the other one was a rich text editor apparently. So anyway, um, yeah. Oh, here we go. I can change the size right here. That's cool. All right, and so we can leave some other descriptions. Um, let's see here. Okay, we can say this is a plugin that allows you to make armor stands with a GUI. Pretty simple. Okay, so that's just a simple description, and then you could also list the um, configuration. So if we're going to go back to the plugin, or let me open up my code here. If I copy the config.yml of my plugin, maybe we want to provide that for the user, just in case they're interested. Config.yml file. 
and then right here I can make this um, indented like that and then I can provide it like that we can make it smaller okay but yeah that's just an example of something you do provide the file like that um, you can do some other stuff if you want to so once we have the config file we could also provide um, this plugin was made for a YouTube plugin develop or it was made for a for a spigot development series on YouTube. Okay, then I'm gonna just provide my channel link. So I'll go here to my channel. I'll just type it in whatever. H T well you wanna provide it as a link. There's a link button here so you can provide links and then you could just put the URL so https com slash c slash media productions Alright, so that's my channel link. And there we go. So now I'll put the link there. And yeah, this is pretty simple, but you know, it's just an example of something you could do. I can provide a picture if I want to. That's fine. Yeah, usually you want to provide pictures of what the plugin looks like. So anyway, you could also provide some other resources here. Like I can provide maybe my um, channel again if I want to. Or I'll put the, li the link for the, the, uh, the playlist. That's fine. And there we go. Okay. Shut up, ad. So yeah, we can provide a upload resource icon too, which is going to be basically the icon of your um, Armor Stand GUI plugin. So we can do that if we want to. So I'm going to click uh, save and maybe it'll save. We'll see what happens. Please enter a valid tagline. So I guess you have to provide a tagline. That's fine. So let's say create Armor Stands with ease. There we go. Okay, now we can click save and now it should save it. Okay, cool. So now it's saved. And as you can see here, um, it asks for me to upload the resource icon because I selected yes. So if I just click a random image on my computer, I'll do this logo here, save changes, and now the icon will be loaded on here. And boom, as you can see here, my plugin has that icon now. But yeah, this is what people are going to see whenever they come to your plugins page. So, I mean, it's pretty simple for now because I don't have any pictures or anything like that. But that's usually how you want to do it. And then let's say someone comes to this page and they want to download it. All they have to do is click download and then they have it now, right? So if you're wondering why you might want to provide your plugins on the resources page on Spigot, well, um, usually if you want people to provide feedback on your plugin, you know, if you make a plugin, you want people to tell you what's wrong with it or provide some ideas or anything like that, they can do that usually in the comment section. Usually people will do that. They'll test your plugin for you. But uh, uh, yeah, but also if you just want people to, if you want to show off your plugin, you could do that too. I mean, that's fun also. That's usually what you want to do. And uh, yeah, so also one more thing, you can, you can actually sell plugins, they are premium plugins here. There's a premium section where you can sell plugins for if you want to earn money, but those are pretty advanced plugins, so maybe in the future, okay? But anyway, that's how you do that. So if you actually um, reload here to the main resources page, you can actually see that your plugin is right here. So that's pretty cool, right? So now people can see it just like you are right now. So that's at the top now until someone else uploads a plugin, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this was a pretty simple episode, but if you have any questions about what we did, you can ask a comment in the comment section, or ask a question in the comment section, and, uh, yeah, also we have a Discord in the description, too, if you want to join our Discord, hang out with us, anything you want to do, and, uh, yeah, also there's an IP for our Minecraft server in the description also, and so, yeah, if you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.